Well, looking at the golf cart, uh, I, I own one as well, uh, and uh, mine is street legal. And looking at this one, it looks like this may just be a regular golf cart. So these would be limited in, in their mile, mileage to about 25 miles an hour. A street legal one, you're looking at about 35 miles an hour. So this one isn't going to go incredibly fast, as you can see, based off of the speeds there on our speedometer, looking at about uh, 20 miles an hour or so at most. Now, uh, this... Uh, theft of this vehicle occurred on Ventura Boulevard near Yolanda and uh, made its way on surface streets. Fortunately, has never been on the freeway during the 10 minutes that this has been going on and is now eastbound here on Burbank Boulevard. This one you think you've seen it all. Yeah, so yeah. this is a situation on Ventura. And again, you, there's a dog with him and, and, and he has some demands, right? And Eliana, where are police and all this in, in relation yeah. to where he's driving? Yeah, let me uh, widen out. I'm not really afraid of losing him <laughs> at the speeds he's going at. Uh, so you look uh, there just behind him, about maybe a quarter mile back or so, uh, you see at least five units of the LAPD. This is the West Valley Division of the LAPD. So for those, oh my gosh, oh, that was so close. That Tesla driver, I believe it was a Tesla, he w would not even see this guy. I mean, he wouldn't expect to see a golf cart coming across uh, the intersection when he has the right of way. Uh, so that's what really makes this so dangerous. This guy's not going that fast. Uh, and so uh, he's not going to be able to move out of the way quickly enough when he encounters a situation like that. Uh, but getting back to what we were just saying, it's the LAPD's West Valley Division that is in pursuit, and they also have an airship overhead. Eliana, I'm, I'm, I'm out of just I'm just out of sorts here looking at this. Um, you know, one not only is it dangerous across an intersection across a red light at 18 miles an hour. He's also a smaller profile vehicle. Doesn't have the lights that a normal vehicle would. Uh, a car is not likely to see them even going at 35 to 40 miles per hour here on surface streets. And the other thing, you know, you, when we do these chases, Eliana, we talk tactics, we talk strategy when it comes to officers, and it seems. Uh, are they just going to let it play out and just chase them until the, what either runs out of gas or electricity, depending on how this, you know, thing is powered? I'm so glad you brought that up, Jonathan, because some of the regular pursuit intervention tactics that we normally see, like a pit maneuver, is simply going to be out of the question. Can they do a spike strip? Maybe. I'm not sure uh, what that could possibly do to the car, especially with it being as small as it is. And uh, in terms of uh, how far this thing can go, as you were saying, uh, some of them are gas-powered uh, or electric, so at this point it's unclear what this one may be, but uh, making a random... Uh, turn here. I wanted to figure Another out why perhaps, uh, but it looks like uh, he just made that quick change there, possibly trying to lose the authorities, but uh, I don't see how that would ever be possible at the speeds uh, that he's going at. But uh, again, this is a uh, stolen golf cart, stolen from a security guard who was trying to call police uh, to get uh, the man's dog help, really, because uh, that man was threatening to hurt the dog. Uh, and uh, again, uh, I believe at this point, uh, they think that he's the rightful owner of this pet, but again, a, a police pursuit here of a possible stolen golf cart making its way here through the San Fernando Valley. Interesting, as we look live at the situation, we saw at least five or six uh, black and whites right yes. behind uh, this golf cart with a with, uh, man just going through intersections here and uh, driving at speeds just around 20 miles per hour with the dog on his lap. We were looking up speeds of these things. The average speed, Eliana, you mentioned these things can get up to 35 miles an hour if they're street legal, but typically the average anywhere from 14 to 20 miles an hour, which is consistent with what we've been seeing in that if this is electric, it can go anywhere from 15 to just 25 miles. Do we have any idea how far this has now gotten since it started, Eliana? Since it started, Jonathan, I put it at a good 10 miles or so. Uh, just because we started at Ventura and Yolanda, we now find ourselves over here on Fulton. Now, let me get you the nearest crosshair. Just going to widen out here for just a moment so I can get that nearest uh, intersection. It's going to be Fulton and Oxnard as he comes up to the green light. Here's a... I believe these Whoa. are officers oh. who are trying to deploy the spike strip. Oh, yeah. so, uh, just like you said. So there we go. They, they can do spike strips on a golf cart. Never thought I would say that in my life, but uh, they can do spike strips on a golf cart. They're definitely not going to do a pit maneuver, uh, but for now continues here uh, in the area of Oxnard and Fulton in the Van Nuys area. Well, I was going to say if they attempted to do what, you know, a spike strip that they would have the upper hand here given 
how fast this thing can't go, typically. Uh, unfortunately there, they didn't get the chance to. Looks like this person was able to swerve around the way with this golf cart. Uh, but it, it likes, you know, likely they're going to have more chances to do this um, since they can easily get ahead of this chase, given we're looking at top speeds here. They've been consistently 17, 18, 19 miles an hour, Eliana. Yeah, these things don't go very fast when they're not meant to, for the streets. And when they're not street legal, they also don't have things like license plates or uh, uh, the, the right or left signal, right or left turn signal. Not that he would be using them anyhow. Uh, fortunately, of course, they do have uh, headlights and taillights, but even then, they're pretty dim. And uh, at the speeds that he's traveling at and running uh, red lights, it would be difficult for a driver to see him, uh, especially when he's running that red light or running a stop sign. So that's really the big concern. I'm also especially, of course, concerned for that dog who is, uh, of course, innocent in all of this in every yeah. uh, single way and is unfortunately on uh, this ride here where uh, the golf cart is being pursued by uh, what I last counted as five officers of the LAPD. So you see them there. I believe we're up to about seven now. Mm. Uh, so seven officers from the LAPD in addition to the airship overhead. Quite interesting as we look to see what how this is going to play out and uh, people joining in right now. This is a, yeah. believed to be a stolen golf cart with that man there with a dog Thank on you. his lap there. Ileana, tell us how this transpired again. This, is, it, is it believed that he stole this golf cart from a security guard? Where was this that this took place? Well, Michelle, you know, uh, I know that you're a dog lover. I am as well. Mm. So whenever I hear anything dog related on the scanner, my ears just perk up. Yeah. And so what I heard was that this man had this dog. We believe he owns it. And he approached the security guard and he had essentially threatened the security guard that if he didn't give him food, that he was going to hurt the dog. So, of course, th at that point, the security guard called police. And uh, during that time, it's unclear how that transpired, but the man was able to get in the golf cart and take off and that was in the area of Ventura Boulevard and Yolanda he then made his way over towards the Sepulveda Basin area by then police were behind him he wasn't difficult to catch up with of course uh, so officers from the LAPD's West Valley Division were behind him they got the airship overhead and this has been going on now for a good 10 to 15 minutes now and as my pilot Saro was just mentioning the range on this really isn't that bad he's all the way now uh, in the North Hollywood area with really no signs of slowing down he appears to be, what, shirtless and barefoot as well, Eliana? He does, Jonathan. And, I mean, the temperatures out here in the San Fernando Valley tonight are pretty chilly. Uh, so uh, that's interesting that he isn't wearing shoes and he's also not wearing a shirt, as you mentioned. So perhaps uh, this could be someone experiencing homelessness. Right. But at this point, we don't have information to lead us to believe yeah. uh, that that is, in fact, the case. But uh, that is definitely a possibility. And, of course, uh, holding on to that dog as he makes that yeah. turn here onto Whitsa Avenue. Uh, Took a I sharp bring... turn on that, that train. And you gotta yeah. wonder, like, uh, did you, he's gotta know that there, there's at least seven patrol units behind him. Maybe uh, not that, but a chopper. And, and also, yeah, you'll, you'll and hear the chopper. Try to yeah. put and, and, and I bring strip. that up, Eliana, the fact that he's, you know, shoeless, that he's not gonna get very far even when this cart comes, to, you know, to an end, either on his own power or the thing runs out of gas or electricity, depending on how it's powered. Right. Uh, in fact, it appears to be slowing down a bit here, though he's continuing on. And where are we now? You said it's the North Hollywood area, Eliana? Yeah, so we're roughly Valley Village, North Hollywood, kind of right on the border. We're on Whitset Avenue. As I went at the shot, we'll get a better idea of what type of community this is. And it looks like it's pretty much apartments on either side of the road. And this road is actually pretty empty. So uh, normally I would say, oh, now's a perfect time for a pit, but that's not going to happen. Uh, it is a perfect time, though, for him to simply pull over and give up or just stop in the middle of the road and surrender to uh, authorities. Again, uh, this is a man who was uh, initially making threats, uh, threatening to hurt that dog that he has in his lap and then of course he stole the golf cart and Eliana we're getting word from our assignment desk this the want here is an assault with a deadly weapon it's unclear if the cart was used as a weapon potentially at some point or if he had another weapon on him uh, at a certain point when he stole or allegedly stole this security guard cart here uh, and Eliana talk about your day in terms of you you cover chases for a living you know so to speak and you really have had two unusual chases today we we sent you out earlier to one all the way out in riverside county that was a big rig that's unusual enough and now to be covering quite the opposite here as small a vehicle as you can get on a street 
we couldn't be on more opposite ends of the spectrum. Uh, earlier today, as we were mentioning, we picked up a pursuit uh, that made its way all the way towards the Palm Springs area, and that was a big rig. Uh, and that pursuit lasted for hours, nearly three hours, and uh, eventually that driver uh, was taken into custody about 30 minutes ago or so. But uh, now we find ourselves here with this golf cart pursuit. So he's just on the other side of this building. I'll wind out the shot just to touch now as he makes his way mall here. Yeah, through the well, parking lot. He's trying line. to avoid the officer on the corner. It looked like who had yet another spike strip, and the officer seems to be chasing uh, after him down the way. Here's another officer there, and it's just, it, it's. He, he might be trapped. Yeah, he's he might be boxed in. Yeah. yeah, he might have made a mistake here, and uh, let's see if they can block him in on this other side. There is an officer very close by. There's right. lots of officers right. very close by. This here is their chance. Here. Yeah, they're going to box him in. They just have to. With this many officers and that oh, small of a vehicle. <laughs> Come There's on, also guys. an advantage too that that car can get in places those vehicles might not be able to at times too, and and he's, he's just continuing on. This is as unusual as it gets, Eliana. Uh, that's true, he, and he can easily drive on the sidewalk uh, much more easier than any of these squad cars possibly could. But they're not giving him much in the way of room, uh, so they are directly behind him. And uh, this, of course, just helps uh, other motorists in the area too, just to be aware that this is a pursuit. Uh, because I can only imagine you're just driving down the road on a Sunday night, and here comes a golf cart. You're scratching your head, but then you see the police, and so then that, that's when you realize, oh, this is this is a pursuit. Uh, and and so whenever you encounter a situation like, like this, even though this is obviously a very small vehicle and likely wouldn't be able to cause too much damage, you still want to pull over to the right, let the pursuit go by, and then safely rejoin the road uh, once uh, it is safe to do so. Well, I thought he was really going to get trapped in that strip mall there, and he was able to circle around and get out. That yes. was quite interesting. And now he's, he's what, what, which street is this again as he goes underneath that underpass right there? We just still victory here? With Sid? Yeah, so this is going to be victory. He just made that turn, which put him on to victory, and he's going under the uh, 170 freeway now. Well, there was a moment there, as comical as this has been, Eliana, that I thought, well, at this point, I could see him getting on the freeway after all. Thankfully, he didn't make that decision as he continues here along victory on surface streets in the North Hollywood area. This chase beginning, it's been going on a little over 20 minutes now, beginning in the Van Nuys area. Police believe this was a stolen cart. Uh, we know the man uh, has a dog sitting on his lap. He is shirtless and shoeless at this point and uh, not going to get very far once this cart comes to an end. Yeah. He's been traveling a little bit slower, though, that we've seen. You can only wonder, is he finally either running out of battery or running out oh, of gas? Right. Um, at this point, we're just speculating as he rolls through the North Hollywood area. We're yeah. Figuring out the tactics, they already tried a spike strip uh, there. And according to LAPD, this pursuit started at around 9.08, so just over, you know, 30 minutes. And uh, apparently this, this, this guy's one to assault with a deadly weapon, this suspect here, um, as he makes his way slowly uh, through the valley there. You did better math than I did. I said I was <laughs> Yeah, no, it's been going on for quite a while. It's remarkable given how slow this vehicle is. You see how many times he's been able to avoid another spike strip. There might have been another attempt right there as well. The, the, the advantage, Eliana, is police are able to get ahead of this chase really easily, but it's baffling a little bit how they just haven't been able to stop him in any way. I think part of it is they obviously don't want to hurt him, and uh, this right. is a situation where this is such a small car yeah. um, that if they did do some sort of evasive maneuvers with it, I mean, this guy could potentially even roll over. Uh, so Plus they don't want him animal. to get hurt. Yeah. They don't want the dog to get hurt. So I, it, as you said, the range on these isn't going to be forever, of course. you know, it's, it's In all likelihood, I'm going to guess it's electric-powered. And uh, mm -hmm. so eventually it's just going to die. It's going to run out of battery or it's going to run out of gas if that's what, it's, uh, what it runs off of. And that will bring things to hopefully a peaceful end. But for now, uh, we're now in North Hollywood, uh, just off of Laurel Canyon and Irwin. Yeah, we were looking it up earlier. Top speeds typically average between 15 and 20 miles an hour. The range on some of these can 
really only 15 to 25 miles. And I think you said last check, Deliana, it was about 10 miles already. We've certainly a little bit longer than that. Uh, you know, we could be halfway. And that, that's assuming it was a full either tank or, you know, full battery mm -hmm. uh, as this chase continues on here through the North Hollywood area. The good news is, Eliana, this is a Sunday night, definitely the quietest night out on the streets uh, throughout the week. And um, there hasn't really been a lot of traffic that we've seen. Oh. Ooh, but we did <laughs> that see that. Wow. that was a I mean, this could be a tactic, Eliana, where they're just trying to get directly ahead of them or yeah, at least they... warn the viewer, I mean, the drivers up ahead. Yeah, that very well could be the case. He might be go that officer might be going ahead to block the road. So, but there he is. I was uh, thinking maybe we wouldn't see him pop out. I thought maybe that officer was going to block uh, the golf cart in under the freeway. But uh, that was uh, again the 170 freeway one more time, uh, and this time uh, on Laurel Canyon at Oxnard. He's traveled several miles by this point. Yes. Uh, this again. This started at 9:08. As we try to uh, connect back in with Eliana on this pursuit that started on the uh, 1800 block of Ventura Boulevard there. Uh, we're trying to reconnect with. Um, and then they they come in these uh, folded up in uh, about four different squares and you just you know, they, they throw them out across and then they just lay out across the, the roadway and the car will run over them. And then the officer is able to pull them back out of the street so that the patrol units that are following don't also strike that. And it looks like he may be cornered at this point. He saw an officer trying to put out a spike strip. He turned into the parking lot of the sushi restaurant. We can see the man is out of the golf cart with the dog in his hand, something in his mouth, and he is running away from officers at this point. Yeah, and it looked like uh, someone actually closed the back of that semi truck that you just mm -hmm. that you see right there in the shot, and you see officers running toward that area. Yep, they got and him. They got him. They're going to take him down right yep. here. And this will bring the end of this random pursuit that we have. We, <laughs> Serena and I have never seen anything like this covering pursuits uh, for years here in Los Angeles, a golf cart pursuit of all things. But you can see the number of officers surrounding this person to finally mm -hmm. bring this to an end. And one of the officers taking the dog, it looks like right there, and make sure he doesn't probably run out into the street. But uh, thank you so much for joining us, Mr. O'Malley. We appreciate your insight in covering uh, this golf cart pursuit. Uh, this is one for the books for both Susie and I, who have covered many pursuits <laughs> here on KCAL News. This was a first, but as you can see, it's coming to a peaceful end with the um, suspect on the ground. All right, we're going to switch gears now and turn it over. The big game.